Hello and welcome to Typical. This is a visualization of function type signatures common for the R programming language. By default, the main component of the visualization, type flow panel on the left, shows several most popular function call signatures in the entire dataset. For example, this highlighted flow corresponds to a single type signature of the function .get classes from cache. It tells us that 79 million times this function has been called with a character and returned some class value. Now, let's look at the assignment function. From this, we know that some 55 million calls to assignment can all be attributed to the highlighted type signatures. And in all those cases, the first two arguments are some class values, whereas the return type varies. Let's go to the next page to see more function type signatures. The packages stream up to the right contains all packages recorded in the dataset, starting from the most popular one, base. Clicking on the package does two things. First, it updates the view with most popular type signatures from the selected package, here on the left. And second, it updates the function stream up with the functions defined in the selected package. We can look at more packages using this paging on the tree map. This is interesting. Note how LE, GE and EQ functions all share the same type signature. They all take a vector of doubles at the first argument, double at the second argument and return a vector of logicals. These functions do have other type signatures. For example, when I'm highlighting one of the signatures of EQ function, the other one is also bright, and I can highlight it too. Clicking on a type signature will load complete information about the corresponding function. Then you can double-click to get to the previous view. Note that the most popular function in the emulator package is cprot, and you can also see its preview here. Let's click on the cprot in the function stream app. Recall that selecting a function loads complete information available in the dataset. Thus, since there is just one page of information, we know that these three type signatures are the only type signatures that cprot has been called with in the dataset. By default, all values with a class attribute are simply denoted as having the class type, like you see here. It is possible to get more specific information about these class attributes. For this, let's go to the Settings tab. If you check Request Detail Data, a more detailed dataset will be used instead of the default one. Now, instead of class types, you can see more specific class matrix type. Finally. If you are interested in a specific function, you can use the search bar to enter this function name. If I am interested in subtraction from the base library, I can type the qualified name of this function in the search bar base minus select. Clearly, subtraction is a highly polymorphic function, meaning it has many, many different type signatures, specifically 22 pages of type signatures. But let's look at the less popular type signatures, for example, on page 13. From this, we know that there are just seven calls to subtraction, where the first argument is a vector of doubles, and the second argument is a vector of complex. We also know that, in this case, the return value has type vector of complex. Further information about this visualization is available on the About page. Enjoy your type exploration!